You guys wanted it, well now you've got it. In my last video, I said if this video gets 10 likes, only 10, I will do a prediction for Liverpool 2023-2024 season. So, here we are. Let's get straight into it. So, how is it going to work? I'm going to split this video into small sections. I'm going to talk about where we'll finish in the Premier League, the FA Cup, the Carabao Cup and the Europa League. As of filming, Arsenal have won the Community Shields, but at the end of the day, that means nothing. Arsenal fans, honestly, I do like Arsenal. So I'm telling you now, be humble and be prepared. We won it last year and look what happened to us. Stay strong and hopefully hope for the best for you guys too. Once you do that, we're going to be talking about top goal scorer, most assists, clutch player and biggest surprise. We might go to more as it goes along and how I feel. But for the time being, that is what we have. If you guys do enjoy this video concept, make sure to leave a like and also subscribe. I'm trying to get 2,000 before the end of 2023. So all the help means so, so much. New video will be out on Sunday for the first game of the season. We play Chelsea and me personally, I think we have what it takes to win it. First up, the Premier League. Where do I think we are going to finish? If you saw the last video, check it out here. I did my full Premier League predictions. I said, I think, realistically, we are going to get second place. Obviously, us fans would want first place. But at the end of the day, we have to be respectful and have to be realistic about where we are this season. Last year was atrocious. But we still got fifth place and only two or three points away from fourth position. Saying that, I do believe we are going to get second place. Manchester City are just too good. We have to accept that. Yes, they just lost the Community Shield today. But that happened last year. They ended up being quadruple winners. Something we were so close to getting. But they just had something different that we didn't consistency Premier League Champions League Carabao Cup FA Cup congratulations City we will battle this year I don't think we would do better than you unfortunately I'm being realistic but we will have to wait and see second place Liverpool this is why Dominic Sobersly fantastic signing in my opinion same with Alexis McAllister but we need more signings I would love for us to sign Lavia as of recording we have not made any contact in terms of confirmation that he has signed. We are still hopeful before the season starts. And I would like to see maybe another centre-back, another right-back, and a couple more midfielders, please, because we were promised a rebuild. And so far, we've seen nothing. Well, lie, lie. That's so mean, that's so rude. We've got two fantastic players, but I think seven players or five players actually went out. So we need to actually cover what has gone. It's great signing, seeing me signing players, but I still believe we're going to get second place due to the lack of squad depth. Saying that, in terms of our attack, we've got Salah, we've got Nunez, we've got Diaz, we've got Jota, we've got Cody Gapo. Is there anybody else I'm missing out? If I do, I do apologise. But that's a very, very, very strong attack. Very, very strong attack. Or even Ben Doak, if you want to add him in. I feel like attack is a very good option. Midfield is getting stronger. I think our defence might be a bit weaker now, but I don't want to say that because literally anything can happen. On our day, our consistency, we are fantastic. I would like for us to win the league, but I'm being realistic and I think we are going to get at least second place. Moving on to the FA Cup, I have put semi-final result. I think minimum Semi-final. I'm not saying with with the predictions. I'm saying minimum. So I'm saying at least. I think at least second place. We can still win. But I'm saying at least second place. FA Cup semi-final. I think we get at least to the semi-final. Hopefully, we fix up. I think we can do that. I think I still think that City are going to win that in the FA Cup. Possibly Arsenal. I don't know. And um, they are done track now. But I do believe that. Or even United. And also, anyway, leave it. I think we get in the semi-final. Um, yeah, squad depth again. Can you shut up, dogs? <sighs> Sorry, I don't know if you can hear, but next door dogs are barking.
a few moments later. Moving on. What I'm saying, yeah, semi-final. Um, yeah, I don't think we're gonna get win it realistically. I think this might be a season of disappointment again. I still think we're gonna win a trophy, but in terms of FA Cup and Premier League, I don't think so. Carabao Cup, on the other hand, I have put us as the Carabao Cup winners. I believe this is what's gonna happen. Klopp is gonna start out in the first or second round or whatever, however it ranks of playing our youth players we will win, win both games then we'll get serious we will win both the games and we'll win the Carabao Cup there's nothing more to say I think so and yeah that's it Europa League I think we are going to win it I want to be ambitious we've been knocked down to Europa League from Champions League we didn't want that let's be honest we no one wanted that but I think we can win that easily easily I don't see why we can't we were Champions League finalists two seasons ago. We won it 2019. We came second 2018. I don't see why we can't destroy the Europa League. This might come back to bite me, but I'm being confident. Liverpool are going to win Europa League. Liverpool fans will be a lot happier, I guarantee, winning Europa League than the league. Oh, no, lie. That's a sticky one. Let me know in the comments, guys. What do you rather win? Europa League or or the Premier League. Me personally, it would be Premier League, but I think in terms of run a play, Europa League is more easier, maybe as to say. But yeah, I think Europa League we can win us. So for predictions in domestics and cup competitions, Premier League second, got FA Cup semi final, Carabao Cup winner, and Euro and Europe and Europa League winners. Like I said, this is just prediction. Don't hate me please. Let me know what you guys think. Um, now let's go on to specific player awards. Before we move on, make sure to leave a like and also subscribe. We're trying to get 2,000 before the end of 2023. So yeah. Also, I've got an FBL league. The join code is here and there'll be a link in the description. So check it out. See if you can beat me and let's have some fun. Okay, back in the video now. So... Top goal scorer, you already know who it's going to be. Mohamed Salah. Mohamed Salah's winning it. Sorry. He has. He's gonna. Like, the last how many seasons he's dominated. He has been a clutch player. Oh my gosh, this ring light is bothering my eyes. I do apologize, people, if it's just bother you. But I will improve. I'm just testing stuff out. So I do apologize for that. I've just seen how bad it looks. Oh my god. Oh no! Oh, that's right. I think my contact that time. But yeah, guys, sorry for that. But you are saying Mo Salah. I think he will win. Oh, it's a minute. How about now? I can't see though. Mo Salah. Contact. That's rough. Oh well. Oh, you're flipping blind. Anyway, Mo Salah, top goal scorer. I predict at least thirty goals. Twenty nine, maybe. At least, I think that's what he gets, at least. This season will show how strong our attack has become. I think with Salah, we're going to see how strong our attack is this season and how it has improved and how players like Gapo, players like Nunes, players like Diaz, Jota, etc. are going to help him get the goals he needs. I feel like he's going to get top goal scorer as per usual. Most assists, you know as well who's going to be. Trent Alexander-Arnold. Personally, I love him in that right back hybrid, flipping, whatever you want to call that role. I don't like him in midfield, personally. He's good in midfield, but if it ain't broke, that's my saying, if it ain't broke, the right back works well. We've got players covering him, and I think if we do get a good DM, that will cover the issue of midfielders. Let's be honest. fabinho has gone. I'm quite. I'm, I'm going to be honest. We've got no defensive midfielder now. Thiago, I'm not sure what he's doing. Curtis Jones can play there. I don't know, personally, but we'll have to see. But Overall, I do think Trent's got the most assists. Okay, this one is clutch player. We know what's going to happen this season. There's going to be times where we need a player to stand up, a player to show up, a player to get us that goal, or to pull the team together. And I think it's going to be Lucho himself, Luis Diaz. Prime example, the Palace game. Stuff like that. I'm confident that games where we need him the most, he's going to deliver. Similar to Minamino in the Carabao Cup. Obviously, people under... Um, Dismiss what Minamino did, but in the Carabao Cup, he was pivotal. 
he was a reason why we won the Carabao Cup. Let's be honest, he got the top goal scorer and he was fantastic for us. But I think Luke Shaw is going to be great for every single tournament and competition we are going to be in. So therefore, clutch player is going to be Luke Shaw himself. The final prediction of today is going to be... Biggest surprise. I think it's going to be Darwin. See, Darwin Nunez. I think a lot of people last season, mainly Rebel fans, have cussed him down and said he's not very good. But his resume was good for his first season. You think this guy didn't really speak English. He's still learning English. He's learning a new system. And I know people say, you're making excuses for your players. You're making excuses. Yes, I am. I am making excuses. I'm not going to lie. Last season was okay. But I'm going to make excuses for him because I believe he's going to be good this season. Hopefully, he's going to surprise the world and show how good of a player he is and how good our recruitment system has been in the past. Well, that is all for today. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like. Also, subscribe. I'm trying to get 2,000 before the end of 2023. So, literally, all the support means so much. Please subscribe and share to your friends and family on it 2K before the end of the year. If I do, I'll be doing a giveaway. So, make sure to stay tuned for that. I love you all. I will see you for the Chelsea game on Sunday. Hopefully, it can be our first game. And, yeah, I'll see you later. God bless you. See you. And peace. Wow. Pretty, pretty.